Hi Saviors, GH here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get more enhancement ores by showing to you guys the location of minerals that's needed to forge ores. And also some of the ways that you can do to get materials for your weapons. And with that said, let's do this. Okay, the most reliable way of farming for me is mining mineral deposits. That's a pretty obvious answer but it's not that simple because you gotta know the locations of the crystal chunk, white iron chunk, and iron chunks. And to get the location, go check out this Genshin Impact interactive map. There's a link in the video because I can put it in the description because YouTube is gonna go YouTube on me. So, what you need to do here is, when the map is already loaded, just click hide all and look for crystal, white iron, and iron. And that will show some of the location of the ores that you can farm. Anyway, let's try it out. How about let's go here below Lingju Pass. And as you can see, there's a bunch of ore spots in that area that you can investigate for ores. And based off my testing, most of these spots respawns after a day so always check it out for more other ways are doing commissions which you are probably doing now then spiral abyss has some it's located here you need to fly up and enter the dark orb to go to the spiral abyss area another way to get materials to level up your weapon is buying it from the blacksmith it refreshes every day so you can get some over there the next way is farming chests in the open world. Yes, you will not be getting only ores, but you can also farm a bunch more of other items that you will use for sure. But how are you gonna do this? Again, go to the interactive map and click hide all, then check the chest that you want to farm. Farming chests in the open world is one of the best ways to get materials for your weapons and artifacts, so go check it out. Okay, those are the ways to farm ores. If that is what you came here for, go ahead. Because the next way is not exactly farming, but somehow is related to the items you can farm in the game. Okay, the last way I can share is Paimon's Bargain, the shop stuff. And if you check it out and go to the Stardust Exchange, you see that you can get a few enhancement ores over there if you trade your Stardust for it. And as you all know, Stardust is obtained if you roll on the gacha system. And you need Primo Gems to do that. You don't exactly need money to get Primo Gems. You can get it by just playing the game. And eventually, you will have enough to pull 10 times. And get some Stardust or better depending on your luck. And that's it guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with 10 pull and see how many dust we can get. And if this video helped, hit the like button, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gamey Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gamey Hardcore. See you in the next one.